Back in 1892, a watch company was founded in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, USA that would change the way American railroads ran forever. That company was Hamilton. But there's more to Hamilton's story. As we explore their incredible history, you'll be amazed how much have they contributed to the military, to the aviation, and even to Hollywood. So get ready for an exciting journey through time with Hamilton watches in this video. When Hamilton was first founded, they made pocket watches for the railroads by supplying accurate watches that were essential in synchronizing the timing on the rails hamilton prevented countless accidents and helped trains run like a clockwork keeping people and goods moving safely and efficiently across the country it's no wonder they earned the title of the watch of railroad accuracy but during the world war one they had to switch things up and make watches that soldiers could wear on their wrists these were called trench watches and they were a cross between pocket watches and wrist watches. They were practical for soldiers because they could keep track of time while still holding their weapons. By making these watches for the military, Hamilton became a trusted supplier of reliable timepieces. In 1918, Hamilton was commissioned to make watches for US Air Mail pilots. At that time, Pilots were delivering mail by plane and needed a watch that could handle the demands of flying. That's where Hamilton came in. Even though modern aviation has gone digital and electronic, Hamilton watches are still worn by pilots worldwide. During World War II, Hamilton stopped making watches for the public and shifted its focus to supplying the US military with over a million watches. They were one of the main suppliers to the US Navy, providing over 10,000 marine chronometers during the war. What's really cool is that Hamilton draws inspiration from their own historical designs for their modern watches. One such example is the Khaki Navy Pioneer, which was inspired by the US Marine's chronometer design. As you may have guessed, building watches for the military became Hamilton's specialty. They didn't just stop at chronometers either, but they also produced a line of field watches designed to withstand even the toughest of conditions. These watches were made to keep up with soldiers on the battlefield. In fact, you may even recognize some of these vintage models as they were basically the predecessors of what are now Hamilton's flagship field watches. Hamilton's khaki collection of watches has a fascinating story that dates back to the 1940s. Originally, the line was created as a collection of military timepieces. As the years passed, Hamilton expanded the khaki line to include watches designed for land, air, and sea. Interestingly, the Hamilton khaki feel, one of the most popular modern watches, was inspired by the vintage Hamilton military watch of 1966. The khaki aviation line is perfect for those who are passionate about aviation or simply love the look and feel of the pilot watches. Two of Hamilton's most iconic watches are the Khaki Pilot Pioneer Mechanical and the Model 23 Pocket Watch. The original version of the Khaki Pilot Pioneer was created in the 1970s for the military pilots. The modern version, released in 2018, maintains the same design elements, including the K-shape and size. Now let's talk about one piece that I really like. The Model 23 Pocket Watch. It was designed during the World War II and it was used by US military and has since served as an inspiration for the Khaki Aviation Pilot Pioneer. Available in two sizes, the 43mm and the 38mm, this watch blends modern features and materials with a nod to the original design. I had the chance to try on this watch but unfortunately I was too excited and I forgot to snap some pictures. My verdict is, if I had the extra fun, this would definitely be in my collection. An iconic vintage model from the Khaki Navy lineup is the Khaki Frogman. Originally introduced in the 1940s for use by US Navy underwater demolition teams during the World War II. The modern reissue of this watch, the Hamilton Khaki Navy Frogman Auto, was released in 2016. Today, among the three lineups, the few watches from the Khaki collection 
remained a popular choice among the watch collectors worldwide. Let's move on to Hermitage's achievement in the watchmaking industry. Did you know that they produced the world's first electric watch in 1957? This was even before the creation of Quartz Movement by Seiko in 1969. And this watch is Hamilton Electric 500. One of Hamilton's most iconic models is the Ventura, with its unique case shape. The Ventura was famously worn by Elvis Presley in the movie Blue Hawaii, and has since been reintroduced as a modern watch model in the 90s. Now you might be wondering, is electric watch the same as a quartz watch? I'm still getting the hang of this whole watch movement thing, but from what I researched, electric watches use a battery to power a small electromagnet that drives the watch movement. On the other hand, quartz movement also uses a battery, but they rely on the vibration of the tiny quartz crystal to keep time. Quartz watches are generally more accurate and smaller than electric watches, which is why they became more popular. In 1974, Hamilton was bought by the Swatch Group, formerly known as SSIH, but it continued to make quality watches from its American headquarters. However, in 2003, Hamilton moved to Bill, Switzerland, a town famous for watchmaking brands like Rolex and Omega. This move allowed Hamilton to earn the quality mark Swiss made because their watch are now made in Switzerland. Yes, even though it's technically Swiss, Hamilton still pays tribute to its American roots through its design inspiration and connection with Hollywood movies. Give it a guess how many movies that Hamilton watches were featured in. The answer is 500. 500 movies, that's a lot. Now I couldn't possibly name them all and to be honest, I haven't even heard of most of them but let me share with you some of the popular ones. Like the Hamilton Field Mechanical in Pearl Harbor, the concept watch in 2001 A Space Odyssey, the Kaki Below Zero in The Martian, the Kaki x Win in Independence Day Resurgent, and the Ventura in Men in Black. However, my personal favourite is the Khaki Phil Murph watch from Interstellar. I was so excited to learn that it has just been released in 38mm and it's just amazing how they actually incorporated this watch into the whole storyline rather than just a typical product placement. Overall, Hamilton's history and character reflect its dual identity in both United States and Switzerland. And with their long-standing reputation for quality and innovation, it's very easy to see why Hamilton watches are so beloved by watch collectors everywhere. Hey yo! Thank you so much for watching the video to the end. Actually, this video came about as I was researching about this watch, the Hamilton Intramatic Chronograph H, which I will be reviewing next. As I discovered this whole Hamilton's history, I just couldn't help myself but to make it a video. If you guys are interested in any of the watches that I talk about, I've included affiliate links in the description below. And lastly, don't forget to like and comment on this video guys because it will show to YouTube that it has a lot of engagement and it will turn on YouTube's algorithm to promote this video even more to wider audience. And if you guys like this kind of video, please subscribe as I am hitting 1,000 subscribers very soon. It's, it's, it's crazy and I, I, just, I just can't believe it. Okay, okay. I'm rambling now. See you guys in the next video where I'll be reviewing this watch. Okay, bye.